Hi, this is Mia. <clears throat> it's Sunday, and I was reading through my notes for uh, Childbirth 5 class, and she went through um, dermatology and ran out of time and said that we, the, the teachers, were not lo no longer allowed to, if they met during study week, they were not allowed to. Um, uh, was here all up. For what I do, if you were, if there was a week that you didn't have class because of weather or because of a birth or something, you're supposed to be able to teach the new material to catch up. And then if you chose to have class week 11, it would be like if you didn't, if you weren't asked, or even if there's a holiday, that's like makeup week. But if there, if you, if there was a holiday or whatever, if there wasn't a holiday or whatever, then you could have class, but you couldn't teach any new material. But I hate missing class because it's like, you know they're going to review some stuff on the test or go over stuff that's confusing or, you know, it's not like, oh, if you miss class, if you just go to class, it's just going to be some random stories that have nothing to do with the test. It's never like, even if they talk about the test for five minutes, that's, that's valuable <laughs> unless you can find somebody to really actually give you notes. So, I'm <clears throat> I'm in the position of, she said, oh, I already wrote the test, but uh, because we didn't teach the rest of the term during this regular part of the term, she was going to remove those questions. However, do they remove those questions? So I'm going through the notes for no reason. Just I told myself I'd just flip through them once. But it's, you know, last week I went through notes from last from the midterm on accident because I was unorganized and so now I'm like ugh so right now in about 45 minutes so it's a contact something about going to cross the state line to get a shelf and I had to come up with the money for this and Rosiella, Rosiella. I didn't know that word. Rosiella, Rosiella. I was like Rubella, Rubiella, and Rosiella. I'm confused. I confused. I don't even know if there's a Rubiella. <laughs> Rubella, Rosiella. And they said parvovirus B19, fifth disease. I'm surprised they don't. So for neonates, that's different. But for pregnancy, it's supposed to be really bad. But nobody talks about it. Surpri like, I'm. I found that out. I was at a daycare center and someone got it. And then my kid got it and then the school nurse was pregnant and I was like, please give her a message that my son has got fist disease and it's dangerous for pregnancy and they were just looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm just using fist disease. They're like, what the heck? That was all before um, I did pre-med. Pre-med is not really medicine, but I probably was doing pre-med. doesn't matter. I, I just like think of, like, all my life, I just um, want to pick up medicine stuff, and my career restricted, and when, like, oh, this person, someone in my work is like, oh, this person can't do draws, can't do this, can't do that, it's like, how does she know that I... It's like, I had more training than this person, and they're telling me that I can't do it. And I even drew their blood. It was no problem. So, I just because just I get excited when I do it. I don't get excited, you know, I don't get excited when I'm drawing a patient. But, it's like, from you know, IVs to blood draws between neonates to elderly, 80, 90-year-olds, I've done all of that, and I'm not an expert. However, I feel the more you do, the better you get, the more comfortable you get, and you get your technique down. The thing is, you you get your technique down. There's only one time that I couldn't draw somebody, and that person was severely dehydrated. That was like one day, one draw, and the only the other person had a vasovagal response and about passed out and had her blood shunted to her heart, and I I was at work and I was like, dude. Because I, I just used a regular needle and it was 
I was getting, I got a half a pile of wood, but it, it shunted, and then I removed it, and they redid it, but it took an hour for them to hydrate this person and prop her legs up and use the butterfly, like it, they, like, and put heat on and all that stuff. So, like, oh, no one that would have happened. It, I would have, I mean, I know how to draw from butterflies, which I hate, I, I'll take it back, I hate drawing hand veins with a butterfly. Ivies, that's fine, but taking it out in the hand, that's it, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like doing it, and it hurts, ugh, stick it back, it hurts, I prefer not to do it, um, I'm going to, um, I told my, I promised myself that I'm not going to fight to do blood draws at work or run machines and I run centrifuges or run anything. I, I told my, I promised myself that I would do this at my own work. At my own work. And at my own clinic and at people's houses for home visits and that's what I promised myself so that's what I'm going to do so um because I have a license to do that as a physician not as a worker in a lab if you think working in your lab you should really do stuff in a lab but they're restricting me from doing anything of any medical background it, me and the nurse I want to do this stuff and the nurse does it so of all the people in there we have the highest degrees as far as being able to have hands on a patient Very interesting to me. Um, they wouldn't even let me do the resulting. <laughs> it's like I had no problems with the resulting because um, I spent five years studying the results from the same place. And what we learned in school as a naturopath is that the abnormal ranges for allopath medicine are different than the abnormal range for naturopath in that. If someone's going to be abnormal, say in vitamin D, if they're if they're still in the normal range but they're low, we want to get them before they get into the abnormal range. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just doing that. So I'm gonna go on um, and this one and be organized. Uh,